Hello everybody, it is me of Brisket Tuesday, and today we are here talking about how not to summon a Demon Lord episode 11. Now, oh my god, Alicia showed her true nature, and same thing with the with the church people. I can't tell if, like, the church people and Alicia are, like, or I guess Christelle are, like, playing it with each other, because Christelle seems to be the mastermind behind the whole entire series, all the way from episode 1, because apparently she was the one that, like got the fallen girl and also got the wizard blue guy to to try to kill Rem at first and I guess she knew that Rem was the the holder of the demon lord was the holder of Clem Chan since the beginning but that, that doesn't really make any sense because it seemed like she didn't know for sure until the episode where Diablo was putting his energy into Shara when when she like touched Rem's hand and then saw the seal or did she do the seal like, a lot of this doesn't make any sense, but are the church people stupid? Because there's no way that that guy is that stupid. I guess he must be, because all of them seem to be, like, delusional worshippers. They all seem to be delusional worshippers, because they're just doing... I just can't say that word for some reason. They, they all seem to be doing their own thing, and Alicia is just like... She wants to kill all of the mortal races. When, when, when you saw the, the the backstory of her parents, her parents seemed like good people. So I'm wondering what made her into this, like like, delusional killer that that is okay with herself dying, but then it wants mass genocide for some reason. And then, like, the church people seem to be, like, seem to be, like, in awe of this one main dude because he has magical powers for some reason. So he's, like, a trickster uh, player, I guess. And then we also had the scene with, uh, later on, because Alicia captured Rem and, uh, and Clem, and then the whole entire time that happened, I was just like, I was just like, uh, I was saying this in my last review, like, Rem and Shara, like, there's no way that they're gonna defeat this playing, and then, like, same thing with Diablo, like, if, like, if Diablo's ring was missing, then I guess Diablo would just get defeated easily if he didn't have his Magic Reflection Ring, and then his only trump card is just his Magic Reflection Ring, that's just so stupid, it's the same thing with his power level, like, like, I, I don't know how he's going to do this, because all I know is that by maybe the ending of this, of this episode, I guess Clem might, like, awaken into the Demon Lord, and then she might kill Alicia, and then the church guy, and then Diablo will have to, like, try to change her back to her nice form, or he might defeat her, or he might, like, like capture her into, like, his, like, gravity hole dimension, but when... Ram was having the conversation with Clem when they were captured. I was just like, why? Why is the, why? I, this is this is an off tangent. But why? Like, I can't believe that they were in a carriage, in a cage, like being brought around. But like their conversation, I was just like, what? Like Ram, why are you being so stupid? You should allow her. Like, like she she's a good person. You can ask her to try to hold back. You should like say only hurt them a little bit. Like she just wants her to be super nice. But I'm just like, why are you being so stupid right now? I would tell like Clem Chan to like actually use her abilities because she's super strong like she can still use her abilities it's just that you guys tricked her into being nice so if she's still able to use her ability she could beat up everyone in an instant and just knock them out and then you could just throw them into jail or something but other than that that's all that happened at the beginning of this episode and then also seeing the the what's it called the the, the shade that Alicia was throwing until she showed herself was pretty amazing same thing with the color picture of her uh of her yandere self, but uh, yeah, that's all I need to say for the first 10 minutes of this episode. I'm gonna watch the rest of this episode, so I'll be back in a few seconds. Ooh, yeah, man, that that fucking scumbag, man child, loser, friggin' holy night church dude. Oh, you fucking deserve that. Oh man, I felt so good when when Clem Chan fucking evolved into the into the true demon lord and then just crushed him and crushed his soul and. Obliterated him into non-existence. I was like, yeah, like man, like man. I like, oh my god, he killed Rem. Oh my god, he's probably not gonna like die, die. Like Diablo's potions are probably gonna be like super potent potions, and then she's gonna like re be revived by Shara using her magic, or maybe she might actually die, die. But she might be. She's probably gonna survive. But uh, with Alicia, Alicia, like she showed wavering in her eyes. There's just like something messed up with her mind too. Like same thing with the Holy Church God worshippers, like man child, mind man children. 
I'm just going to call them that based on the way that he reacted once he started losing against the Clem's transformation. I really liked her transformation. I knew that it was going to be like a Naruto-esque, like, like BS, like transformation, the way that it happened. But it was really cool. I really like the form that it has. It's weird that it's that it's a giant like monster with like fairy wings, but it's okay with the way that she is and stuff like that. But overall, like, I I, I can't believe that they like they almost showed a full torture scene with the with the church guy. Like before he died, he was gonna cut off. Like he seems to have a bias against demi humans. He was obviously not gonna get like Diablo because Diablo is way too strong for that dude. Even though that he is like level what level a hundred or something he's like past level 80 i think but uh just seeing him like grab a giant scissors and stuff like that and then smiling like a scumbag loser and then like cutting off almost like he pretty much cut off half of like rem's ear like probably everyone that watched this anime and watched this episode was just like oh you just wanted to see him die but other than that, it was just like, oh, I really, I also really hated seeing Diablo run around the whole entire city and then not even once ending up at the church. I guess because it, it was all the way towards the outside of the of the shield. But we also saw that uh, Celeste, the wizard lady, the protector of the city, she was like, her like shield might not even hold up because she was trying to use her shield, but she isn't strong enough because I'm assuming that Clem Chan's the demon lord Kerbleska Flam. I can't say that name. I'm assuming that she must be higher than Diablo. She's probably, like, higher than level 100. Because when Diablo faced off against the Demon Lord from his game world, that Demon Lord was probably the same level as him when he defeated him. So he's probably the same level, like... So I'm assuming that Kribleskim is probably going to turn in that. So, other than that, I can't wait to see what happens next episode. To, to see how the fight goes. I'm wondering how he's exactly going to save Clem. And also if Ram's going to survive, but... Other than that, I still really thought about this episode. It was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Like, the music, the, st the stuff that happened, even though I hated most of it. This, like, really reignited my, my will into liking the series from previous episodes. But, yeah, if you've enjoyed this review slash conversation about what I thought and stuff like that, leave a like. If you didn't like this review, then leave a dislike. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. The final episode is uh, coming out soon. So, uh, yeah, this series has been pretty good. I got into the manga, and I only read up to chapter, I think, 9. So, uh, yeah, the anime has been pretty good. It's me seeing more than I saw in the manga. So, yeah, see you guys in the next video, and uh, bye.